Hi guys, it's your girl Lola Loves You and today we're doing a review for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 12, Episode 7. Let's get into it. Um, the girls come back um, from after elimination and um, people were saying that people was being fake and phony about Aiden leaving. They were just saying like, oh we miss her, she was really a good contender and all this other stuff. And... Um, Gigi started backing up what she was saying from um, her critiques on Heidi. And then she was like, I ain't mean it like that and things like that. It's just a lot of backsliding from Gigi's behalf. And Heidi like, oh, girl, I, I see you, girl. So, Heidi, I don't blame you, girl, because she was trying it. And Gigi, girl, I love you. And you are a fierce contender, but you got some little shady ways. And that's not right. Um, Rue comes in and tells them that their challenge for... Um, the challenge was the uh, Madonna. It was like a, a rusical, but you know, about Madonna and um, things like that. They had to pick a certain era of, of Madonna, sing, and then they perform it, dance performance. So the girls had to record. So they were headed um, to do the recording for um, their part for the Madonna um, rusical. The girls started brainstorming, They're trying to pick up what Madonna era that they wanted to do. So they finally went into the studio with Michelle Visage, and they was doing their performance. And Jay went to that mic and tore it up. Um, Jada was kind of bad first, but then Michelle gave her a pep talk, and she got it together. Um, so the girls was doing that. So then we went to the um, dance routine and the choreographer, I, I'm so sorry, if, I don't know his name, David or Damon or some Damon or whatever. He is fine. He was Ma Madonna's choreographer. He is fine. I'm so sorry, honey. I, for I forgot your name, but you were fine. So Gigi um, was bad in the choreography department. Um, then a lot of people really didn't. Jan had it down pack a little bit and Heidi did too. So they went back in the workroom. And Heidi reveals that her um, uncle passed away from HIV and her uncle made her feel comfortable in her skin. But when she really needed him, when the bullying started in school, that he was no longer there because he had died from HIV. And then Crystal was saying that um, her stepfather really um, supported her and that now she feels so sad because he has multiple sclerosis. So his um, muscles and things like that, he can't even cook and do that. He was a handyman and, you know, he worked with his, he was in construction, I think, too. And then he can't even work with his hands. So um, we go to the main stage. RuPaul had like this red little corset BDSM leather red outfit. It was cute with this blonde crinkly Bushy wig, um, cute. Then we had Winnie Harlem, the model with Vertigo. And we have Alexandria Cortez. She is in the politics. Um, I think Congress or something don't. I, um, I never really heard of her, but, you know, I, I know she, a lot of people on the show was, um, thankful for her. I think it was Jackie that was saying, um, thank you for, um, Helping like immigration and things like that. So I don't know her, but I, she's known. She's a known person. Um, they had to perform. They the performance came, and Jan was great. They watched the um. They did the performance, and Jan was really great. Gigi tore it up. Britta was okay. Jada did her thing. Jada, you did your thing. Shari was okay. Widow tore it up. Heidi. Um. I didn't, I only think my, my thing about Heidi's performance, I didn't see Madonna. I just saw Heidi tearing it up and her panties kept showing. Anybody in um, name, I didn't remember their performance like that, but we're going to get into that. So, the runway looks was looks from Michelle Visage looks over the years. For Jan, I put a pink flight attendant hottie. Um, something Michelle Visage had, like a pink, um, looked like a flight attendant outfit. Um, Jaggy, I put BDSM hottie. Um, Gigi, I put Soul System. Um, that was Michelle look from back then. Um, Britta, I put Velvet Goddess meets Oprah. It was okay. I didn't like it. Um, Jada did like a biker. I call it biker Barbie look. Um, who was this? Shari was like, I call it a pink Bella. A pink Bella look. I just put like a Southern Belle. Um, Crystal, I put, um... Um, Lady in Red. And Widow, I put, um, <laughs> Wonder Woman meets I Got the Hook Up. 
I can't, I do not like Widow Runway looks, but I love her as a queen. She is a fierce queen. But I'm gonna get into her and Heidi later. Um, Heidi, I, I put business couture. Okay, Jan, Gigi, Crystal, Jackie, Heidi, and Britta was in the top and the bottoms. And who was safe was Sherry, Jada, and Widow. Widow, girl, you better stop being safe. Okay, let me critique y'all real quick. Widow and Heidi, I love them to death. They can perform their butts off, but their makeup is awful. Widow is not enough, is not rich, and Heidi is too cheap, too light, and is needed, is not blended. If both of them really can really get their makeup and really look together, they will be so fierce. Widow is more advanced than Heidi. Heidi just really needs to practice on her face because she can look like Diana Ross. She's gorgeous. Like, she's really a gorgeous girl, but she don't the, the makeup choice she has doesn't bring it out. So that's my only two complaints with them too. Okay, Jen, they loved her look. They loved her performance. They loved everything. Jackie, they loved her look and not her performance. Gigi, they loved her look. And her performance, um, Britta, they did not like her performance, and, um, they wasn't really, um, they liked her outfit, but they, Michelle was upset about the earrings that choice that Britta did. Crystal, they loved her performance, and look, they liked her performance, and look, Heidi, they loved her performance, but they said the same thing I said, they just saw Heidi and not Madonna. So it comes back, Jan saved, Crystal is saved, Gigi won the $5,000. When Jan found out she was saved, she was living. You could tell she thought, she just knew she won. I thought Jan was going to win, but I knew Gigi, Gigi tears it down. She tore that Madonna performance down, so I knew Gigi was going to win. Um, Jackie saved, then it's between Heidi and Britta, and they have to lip sync. And to Madonna burning up, Heidi is... Tearing it up as usual on the floor, splitting, doing her thing. Britta, she giving her heart and her, um, conviction, but that been she been down the bottom too many times. So I knew she was going home, and Britta winds up going home. Please, y'all, and that was the end of the show. Please, y'all. Um, by April the twenty fourth, RuPaul is doing a celebrity drag race. It's going to last for a month, four weeks, and I know it's going to be good. I'm going to review it. I wonder who's going to be on the show. Leave in the comments who, what you, who would you like to see on the show, like what drag queen. I hope it's celebrity males, and I hope it's really good because I hope they pick good contenders and great sports. Not no poor sport. Pick great men that really will try to, you know, they could be heterosexual men, identify men, and that really will and that would make it better to see who really come out to be a fish drag queen. But anyway, leave in the comments below. Make sure y'all share, like, and thumbs up this video. And I will be back with another review. I love my honey bunnies. Stay safe. I love you. God loves you, number one. And I love you. And I'll be back. Bye.